To add a new post, the first thing you'll do is to log into your website, which means that you will put in the domain name with the slash behind it, and then the letters WP dash A D M I N. So WP dash admin, all lowercase, and you'll hit return, and it will give you a screen that asks for your username and password, which I will have sent to you. Then when you get to Logging in will bring you to the dashboard, and you'll go to on the left to posts to add new. And a couple seconds later, depending on how fast your connection is, you'll get a screen that looks like that, and you're going to add a title to it. Um, I'm going to use a post that I've done before so that you can just see how it's done. I'm not going to have to type it out. Okay, and then the next step is, is, is that you would just start typing. But I'm going to take a and actually paste in a, um, a post that I've done before so that I can show you how to do all this stuff with a post that I've already done. So in this case what you would want to do is you would click on this one and this is going to be a header a heading uh, this heading right here is actually the title of the page and it's going to be what's called the permalink um, and it's also going to be an h1 which means that it's a heading one it's the 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 topmost heading of the page so anything else on the page is going to be h2 heading 2 or below so in this case I want to make this transform it into a heading and then it says h2 yep that's what I want I don't think it even gives you the option of making it h1 so this is the first thing that you put on the page and then these can stay being um, uh, just paragraphs this one you would want to change also into a heading 2 so you make it a heading and you make sure it's heading 2 and then actually you know what let's make this one a heading 3 and this one also a heading three so again click on this and make it a heading and then change it to heading three because it kind of fits underneath the, the the bigger piece of the age of passwords uh, and all in order to make this not the same as as the actual title of the page what we'll call it is the new age of passwords okay um, and then here is our our uh, last heading and we're going to make that one an H2. Okay, so that takes care of the very basics with no images, no nothing. If you want to add an image, there's two, well there's actually a bunch of different ways to do it, but the two dominant ways to do it, one is to make it a uh, two columns, an image on one side and a picture on the other. So let's do that first. Unfortunately you can't change this into anything other than, than these very specific things so what we're going to do is we're going to add a new um, add a new block let's just insert it before and we're going to make this block a media and text okay so the media area is where you're going to add a picture Presuming that the picture is not already in your media library, you're going to click on Upload, and it's going to take you to, on your computer it may be different, on mine it takes me to my desktop. And I have a picture on here that will work, although it has nothing to do with the topic at hand. There's the picture, and then I'm going to t uh, create some content, and if you'll see over here on the size the side it says large I want to make that normal and you can either do that before you add the content or after you add the content so I'm going to let's go ahead and, and um, okay so this is is the content that's a column, two different columns, a media, an image on one side and the uh, the text on the other side. Um, let me show you how then to do a um, 
a a wrapped version. And let's see, maybe it, it, I need a longer. Here we go. This one is longer. And we're going to insert a block beforehand, a block before this, and then we're going to make that block. You could just type if it was just going to be a text block, but we're going to make this block into a classic block. Okay, so then we're going to we're going to take this and we're going to we're going to cut it because we're going to put it in here, and then we're going to paste it in here, and then since what we want to do is to wrap text around an image, we're going to put insert. We're going to insert the cursor at the beginning of the paragraph, and you can experiment with how where you insert the cursor. But it's going. We're going to wrap it either to the left or right. So beginning of the pa paragraph in this case makes sense. We're going to add media, and I'm just going to use the same picture, but you probably use a different one. In which case, you can upload files from here too, and you can upload files either by dragging the file onto the onto this screen or you can select files and you go back to the your hard drive and select what you want so we're going to go back to media library and we're going to insert into post oh and all images should have a um, not just the title but also the alt text that's kind of important and the alt text is a descriptive text that um, applies to the image and how you would like to see it regarded as how it fits into the page. So let's call this before the new age of passwords and insert into post. Okay, so now it's showing up in the middle. That's because it defaults to a center aligned. And what we're going to do is we either make it align left or align right and let's just call it a line left and now you see um, it aligns with the text wrapped to the right because the image is aligned to the left and then it it it, uh, it appears underneath instead of in a column okay so now we're gonna preview this before we publish it and this will actually give you a good idea of what it looks like as actually it's gonna give you a precise idea of what it looks like and sometimes it takes longer than other times And sometimes it takes abominably long. There we go. Okay, so this is the age of passwords, the new age of passwords. Um, and this is what it looks like in one column. See, it, it also appears higher because this image will align to the middle of the, of the, uh, the text in the other column. And here's what it looks like when it's to the left and it's... Um, actually wrapped. The text is actually wrapped. There are the H3 headings, there's another H2 heading, and that's how you do a post.